Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Owner of Red Hen Restaurant who kicked Sarah Sanders out as cousin of famous Hollywood celeb. Trump derangement syndrome is a real thing and it has permeated every aspect of the Democratic Party, even some parts of the Republican Party, showing that it is truly unfortunate when people cannot put their opinions and negative feelings aside to just be polite. A perfect example of this was this past week when press secretary for the White House, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, was kicked out of a restaurant in Lexington, Virginia for working for the current administration. But the family connection of the owner who kicked her out is what has everyone talking now. You won't be surprised at who it is. 100% fed up reported. The Washington Post interviewed Stephanie Wilkinson, the owner of the Red Hen restaurant, who kicked Sarah Huckabee Sanders and her family out for holding political views Ms. Wilkinson finds abhorrent. The expressed hypocrisy is typical of the progressive worldview. Apparently, Ms. Wilkinson was not at the restaurant at the time, her staff called her at home asking what they should do. Wilkinson told The Washington Post that her restaurant and its half-dozen servers and cooks had managed to stay in business for 10 years by keeping politics off the menu. And she knew, she believed, that Sarah Huckabee Sanders worked in the service of an inhumane and unethical administration. That she publicly defended the president's cruelest policies, and that that could not stand. Several Red Hen employees are gay, she said. They knew Sanders had defended Trump's desire to bar transgender people from the military. This month. They had all watched her evade questions and defend a Trump policy that caused migrant children to be separated from their parents. Tell me what you want me to do. I can ask her to leave, Wilkinson told her staff, she said. They said yes. She walked up to the press secretary's chair. I said, I'm the owner, she recalled, I'd like you to come out to the patio with me for a word. They stepped outside, into another small enclosure, but at least out of the crowded restaurant. I was babbling a little. But I got my point across in a polite and direct fashion, Wilkinson said. I explained that the restaurant has certain standards that I feel it has to uphold, such as honesty, and compassion, and cooperation. I said, I'd like to ask you to leave. Sanders's response was immediate, Wilkinson said, that's fine. I'll go. Wilkinson had no regrets about her decision. I would have done the same thing again. She said we just felt there are moments in time when people need to live their convictions. This appeared to be one. As she headed out the door to a weekend Main Street festival she had helped organize, she sounded hopeful that the Red Hen could open for business as usual Saturday night. Yes, she had seen calls for hashtag MAGA protests on Facebook. But this is a small enough town, and we're known, she said optimistically. This is not going to be a giant surprise to anyone. Meanwhile, the Red Hen's disgusting and rude treatment of Sarah Sanders left Lexington, Virginia residents scratching their heads and offering apologies to the press secretary. VA State Congressman Ben Klein apologized to White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders, tweeting, on behalf of his hometown of Lexington, for the rudeness of one liberal New York transplant, who also happens to be Meryl Streep's cousin. Klein continued, We hope you will come back and enjoy our area's true Southern hospitality. This will not end well for the Wilkerson family their business interests, or the employees who found their tender sensibilities too triggered by the appearance of a Trump supporter in their restaurant. The intersection of business and politics is littered with the carcasses of failed enterprises who made similar decisions. The NFL, Macy's, Starbucks, Target, etc. The list is long and the stupid is strong. Never underestimate the ability of a public business to destroy itself. No policy is ever idiot-proof, merely idiot-resistant, and there are always newer, bigger and more stupid idiots even in the sandwich business. In the mind of a far-left progressive, they believe their insane political perspectives are the only views that matter. They consistently overestimate their geographical support and find their need for superiority such that it affords them a bizarre moral right to force their positions upon others. The Last Refuge It is incredibly unfortunate that we now live in a society where we cannot disagree without having to have some huge showdown. Basic decency and respect has gone out the window. If we do not like someone we have to demonize them and kick them out of our place of business. Clearly, someone was not raised right because where I come from that is considered incredibly rude and disrespectful. However, there are plenty of other good business owners that I am sure love their country and would be more than happy to serve. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.